Yeah, mate, I'll get on the dishes. We're in Darwin, and I'm here to meet Zach from Elijah's Kitchen. He's doing some really cool stuff with native ingredients in Darwin itself. And it's not just about the ingredients, it's about the story behind each dish. And I sort of thought, you know, instead of sitting down and having a one-on-one -on -one with him, let's get in there, get in his element, and sort of figure out what it is about his food that sets it all apart from everyone else. So, follow me. Big man. What are you doing? Mate, Why are you standing here? I just want here? permission first. What are you staying here? I just want here? permission I first. I need you up here. Right, Come on, done. hurry up. We need four kangaroo on, please. Four kangaroo and hey, two guys. magpie goose. Where do you need me? At the moment, I need you at the pass. Are we in the weeds or what? Uh, we, we're just doing a couple of entrees at the moment. Yeah. And then once we get these mains out, I'll see. I'll show you how to plate them up. I'll get you to plate it up one. And he's not kidding. No, you're like, you throw me in, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, Let's yeah, do it. yeah. Let's so do that's... It. Evening, everyone. How are you? My name is Zach. Um, I'm a Gunjamara man uh, from Southwest Victoria, and also a Palawa man from Tasmania. Uh, Lodge's Kitchen is named after my son that passed away in 2015. And the reason I planted myself here in Darwin is because um, I'm closer to my son. My son's buried on um, Elko Island um, and I feel home here knowing that I'm not that far away from him. Elijah's is all about celebrating Indigenous culture through food. I started this in 2015 and did a few pop-ups down in, um, in Melbourne. So I hope you enjoy tonight and uh, just remember that my culture is your culture, my food is your food and my stories are still present today. So thank you. So what we're going to do after we get these entrees out, which yep. is table six, uh -huh. we're going to go on these two tables, okay? Yep. Which is a magpie, two magpies yep. and, two, and crocs. two crocs, all right? Okay. So I'll plate up the first magpie. Like, if you can slice the magpie for yeah, me. Yeah, for sure. And then we'll plate up the two magpies and then the two crocs, okay? Yep. Head over in the oven. Do you want to use all of it, Big Uh Yes, please. So just a little top. Andy? Yep. And that's how we do it. Gotcha. Yeah, so I'm just getting the feel of everything now. So Zach sent me in, he's like, he's played a couple of dishes. And all the food looks amazing. He's just getting my head around all the dishes. What's the puree on the bottom? Uh, sweet potato with lemon myrtle and gotcha. a bit of salt. Yes, it's not. I believe you, mate. No, she's saying <laughs> taste it because she made it today. <laughs> Alright, can we go on four magpie goose, please? Mate, the carvery section. Here I come. I've been so doing this. What are the biggest numbers that you get? That you oh, made in? What did we do on last Saturday? About 100? Hundred, so we have to do two sitting. What do you reckon after after tonight, Andy? We do a we do a pop up at uh, three blue ducks. Hey, yeah, we we got to sell two hundred seats, but if you're keen, I'm keen. Yeah, with us good looking fellas. We do that promotional video of us walking down the beach, you know, all romantic and stuff. Yeah, sounds delicious. Run me through your bloody crocodile laksa. This laksa is. Darwin Luxa. Obviously, crocodiles are famous to being on the NT News front cover. And they're bloody everywhere. They're, they're everywhere, but we like to do a bit of a croc luxa. So, a bit of noodles. Really drain it out. In the bowl there. And then we get our ladle and we get some croc. And this one's like specifically special to you, hey? Okay. Yeah, for me as a Yiddish man, crocodile is part of my dreaming story. Yeah. So it's very, it's significant for me because I'm presenting that's been handed down from generation to generation, this story. Yeah. Out of respect for my elders, I don't eat crocodile because it's probably part of my dream. Like, probably, probably just don't like it, mate. <laughs> no, I love crocodile. <laughs> Have you ever heard the story of that if you eat crocodile and go into the water, they'll be able to sniff if you're eating one of their family members. Hey, um, so that's why you're not eating crocodile. Hey, Zach, thanks, man. Appreciate no worries, Appreciate yeah. hanging with you. Appreciate you letting us in here. It's been a bloody ball. I think we've got a few of these guys going to our table with the crew out there, so yeah. I'm going to have a taste. Yeah, no worries. Yeah. But seriously, though, it's been a bloody pleasure to step inside and see what Zach's all about with Elijah's Kitchen. 
It's not just food, you know, it's his culture. Um, he's doing a cracking job up here. This is like a legit setup. There's not much space in there. He would have done 65 covers tonight. He's given it a really good crack and it's all about his Aboriginal heritage and a huge part of Australia's menu is that. And I can guarantee that I'll be back 